Guys, I don't know if I ever pointed out before, but look at the size of Shorty's ears. What the heck? Wait a minute, what am I talking about? <laughs> All right, guys, we are in Gateway Plaza in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Here is a Spirit Halloween right behind me here. The door is way down here. That is a ginormous sign. But yeah, how strange. The door is like way down here, and it looks like it's one single door. It doesn't even look like it's supposed to be like an individual store. It probably originally was part of whatever this Ollie's was. But here is how you get in and look at the size of that Spirit Halloween sign. Holy crap, that's huge. All right, let's go in and see what kind of Halloweeniness they have in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Hello, Lord Farquaad. This is a pretty big store, guys. How cool. I see a bunch of animatronics over here. They have both setups. Enormous store. Absolutely enormous. Okay. Hello, Lord Farquaad, a.k.a. Lord Raven. I saw your head on a stick back there. Guys, before I go any farther, let me just tell you, make sure you subscribe and come over to my other channel called That Nate Guy on Halloween, because pretty much anything I buy in these stores, you're going to be seeing on that channel. I see some awesomeness peeking out ahead over there. And in looking at the entranceway here, it reminds me that Griffin from GM Hunts has already been buying the pieces to this whole setup. I don't know how much he's got, but you're gonna have to go over to his channel to check it out and see what he has. Anyways, let's check out the bog zombie here. Hello, Mr. Boggy. Oh good, he's on the sensor. You're still thinking about moving into my basement, huh? I know, me too, me too. Maybe, buddy, just maybe. And look who else we have out here, guys. It's Lucky Bottoms. What the heck are you doing in this territory, Mr. Bottomless Joe? I know, it's pretty hilarious. Look at this. He's hitting his head on the wall. Excuse me, sir, you're gonna have a big bald spot back there. All right, let's keep on moving on. Look who we have back here, guys. We're gonna come back to this section, but the Nightcrawler is right there. Okay, let's go through here first. Is there anybody? Wow, there's nobody set up in here. I'm actually really surprised about that. We do have all four bubble tubes of death, though, so that's cool. Is there anything going on up here? No, it's just a large hole. All right, let's keep on moving, see what else we have around here. We have Grim on the other side here. Is he on the sensor? Are you on the sensor, sir? I see you have both eyes in this store. Okay, let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Grimmy. Come on. All right, he's not going to work for us. All right, Grim, we'll talk to you later. We do have young, crouchy Mr. Hairdo over here. Let's see if we can get him going. There he is. Look at his eyes. One is brighter than the other. They must just die out over time. All right, Crouchy, look at who we have here. We have Shorty. Hello, Shorty. All right, hold on. We got to step out of here. Here we go. Guys, I don't know if I ever pointed out before, but look at the size of Shorty's ears. What the heck? Wait a minute, what am I talking about? <laughs> All right, let's look at this pile of goodness over here. Look at this, on the top we have a nozzles. We have another nozzles down here. Underneath that we have two Betty Sharps. How cool is that? We got a Shorty over here. And we have two Deadly Creepers on this side, as well as a Reagan and a grim. Is that it? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's go ahead back here because I want to see the Nightcrawler in action. You guys know that I recently bought this guy and people have been telling me that he is so difficult to put together. All right, Nightcrawler, here we go. Look at that guy. If you guys have not seen the Spirit Halloween movie yet, I don't want to give anything away, but the Nightcrawler is in the movie, and he is pretty dang spooky. Plus, he needs the Aquafresh. All right, let's get Betty Sharp going here. Come on now, Betty, come on. Oh, the bag isn't even moving. 
I hear you talking, but I don't see anything moving, miss. Whatever you had in there, or whoever you had in there, must have escaped. We got little skelly bones over here, and we got this guy already going crazy. I don't know what he's talking about. Something about the game Hide the Jalapeno. Let's see if we can get Skelly going. Come on, Skelly, come on. Here we go. I hear him. I hear him. There he is. He is still one of my favorites this year, guys. People keep asking me who my favorites are. And recently I've been saying straw man, but I don't know, man. Little Skelly Bones is probably my all-time favorite of 2022. Excuse me, sir, are you still interrupting me over here? All right, let's go through the dangerous experimental electrical room of electrical death. It's been electrifying so much that it electrified the ceiling out of existence. Okay, I have to do it. Okay, guys, let's make our way back here and see what we have in this haunted cove back here. We have the display of death, a.k.a. the display of breath. You need a Tic Tac. You need a Tic Tac. You need a whole box of Tic Tacs. <laughs> All right, there should be zombie babies over here, and we do have some. It's four crawling zombie babies. People just must not really care all that much for this zombie baby. I think he's pretty cool. He is a perfect depiction of a zombie baby, but there's tons of them in every store. And once again, I forgot to look through the RV and see if I've already bought the vintage clown doll. I am going to be so upset if I totally forget and then I didn't buy him this year. But let's look what else they have. They have two of the creepy cracked face baby dolls. It looks like there are one, two, three hugs dolls. Only one vintage clown doll, guys, so I'm passing it up. Decrepit Donna. We have one, two, three, four decrepit Donnas here. We have two Rosalies down here, an Uncle Charlie, and three pumpkin nesters. Looks like they have pretty much the same inflatable as everybody else. I don't really expect them to have anything different, but you just never know what you're going to find in these stores. They do have four Fright in the Box. That guy is absolutely enormous. They have a Hanging Phantom Ghost, two Empty Soul Girls on Swings, a Jack-O-Lantern Archway, and a Scarecrow Archway. We got the Tombstone, the Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker, and the Skeleton Inflatable, the Jack-O-Lantern Stack, the Ghost, and the Reaper, as well as the Devil and the Vampire Door Knockers. Hello, random hanging skulls. We haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at the weapons, guys, so let's take a look at them. We have the bloody knife here, which is usually like a scream knife, and if you move it, the blood moves around. We have this knife where your fingers go through those holes there. We have machetes, big knives like this one that I bought to take to uh, the filming location of Children of the Corn when I went in Iowa. That was cool. Although this knife right here is a better depiction of a Children of the Corn knife. Giant butcher knives to cut somebody's arm off. Giant scissors to cut somebody's head off. Holy crap, look at this. We have bats with barbed wire and with nails sticking out. How scary is that? If a zombie were chasing me, this is what I would have. We have the creepy baby head on a stick. I don't know that this is necessarily a weapon, but I suppose it could be. Let's say hello to these hanging fellows. Hello, hanging fellows. Oh no, I need a Tic Tacs again. We have Annabelle over here, and we also have three sitting Sam dolls over here, as well as the Sam Greeters and the inflatable Sams. How many times this season have you guys heard me say this stuff? Well, guess what? It's at least 80, because this is store number 80, guys. Can you believe it? I have been to 80 Spirit Halloween stores this year. I have seen all this stuff so many times, and it is still awesomely fun. We have Sam Sidesteppers, and we have Billy Butchers and Sidesteppers, and we have Frankenstein Sidesteppers, which is one of the first things I bought this year. Look at this. Monty's cage is empty. He must have escaped. Wait a minute. Does that mean he's somewhere around here waiting to kill me, hiding behind things? Are you going to kill me, Monty? Look at this, guys. We have ghost face inflatables here. I like this picture of Michael Myers because it's almost like a family picture. You buy it and hang it on your wall at home, and you're like, yeah, this is my friend Michael Myers. <laughs> we have hanging Sams here, and we have hanging ghost faces, and we have hanging Barbaras, and we have hanging Beetlejuice snakes. 
Every time I find this guy, I say that he's like a ginormous cereal bowl for awesome Halloween cereal. But really, you couldn't really use it for that. But you could use this Nightmare Before Christmas bowl slash mug. Although, I need something at least twice that size for my bowl of cereal. I mean, have you seen me? <laughs> Look at this, guys. Every store is set up totally different. Usually, the t-shirts that you see right back here are like right over there by the door. One of the first things you see when you walk in. If they're not in here, though, they're in their own little haunted cove right by the Squid Game costumes, which are actually pretty dang cool, especially this chick right here. She is scary. All right, guys, continuing on. They have lots of Chucky, lots of Jason. They have a little bit of Michael Myers stuff here. I see the Halloween Ends masks, and I believe back in the other masks, I saw the regular Halloween ones, but we'll take a look back there again in a minute. Let's continue on down here. Here is all the Batman stuff. Look at this. They have Batman. They have Joker. They have the Riddler. They have all kinds of stuff, including this this joker right here who, who, who I can't even talk what the heck how why did I stutter on the word who well, maybe it's because I'm touching him and he is possessing me yes that's it his oh my gosh that joke totally fell thanks joker you just ruined it all I try to make a joke and you're like oh no I'm the joker anyways let's keep on moving guys look at this here is the light up inflatable oogie boogie costume and he is green with the bugs and worms in his mouth and look at this one they also have the burlap oogie boogie costume up here this one's also inflatable so let's look at the two they look pretty much the same i wonder why the burlap one doesn't have any of the bugs coming out of his mouth though we can't forget about this spooky little pupster. I really like this inflatable bull rider because it reminds me about how the other day I said I'm going to go buck wild on these inflatable costumes when the clearance sales start. But I probably will not buy Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo. All right, guys, let's take one more look around this store, see if there's anything that we have not really seen in other stores. I doubt it, except for look at this. This is pretty cool. Edgar Allan Poe Fleece Throw the Raven. That is really cool. I honestly don't think I've seen that in any other stores. Oh my gosh, guys, look who's hiding over here. This guy should never be over here. It's the secret keeping cat, and he's talking to Sally. What kind of secrets are you keeping now? What is Sally telling you that you feel the need to keep it a secret? Look at her eyes. It's like she's rolling her eyes like, don't even bother. He's not going to tell you anything. And this guy's like, he told me everything. And Zero's just down here like, I got a pumpkin nose. And look here, guys. We got a burrito baby hiding out over here, too. Okay, yeah, here we go. Here's the other Halloween masks, guys. We have Halloween 1. We have Halloween 2. We have this Halloween 2 one that's just plastic and I don't see Halloween 18 over here. But I do see Nozzles with his jalapeno nose. Alright, I am pretty sure we have seen pretty much everything that we want to see. I mean, I haven't showed you guys everything. There's a crawling monster hand. But I have seen lots and lots and lots of awesomeness in here, as always. Who do you think keeps secrets better? The secret-keeping cat or this guy? <laughs> Wait a minute, we haven't stopped to look at this plush. Do we have a green oogie boogie? No, I don't see it. But I do see a skelly bones. And I don't see any crouchies here. I do see bouncy head gizmo, though. And I do see Danny with Binks, Billy Butcherson, and all three Sanderson sisters. Guys, I think we have pretty much seen everything in here that there is to see at the moment. I'm going to get moving to the next store, but stay tuned. We have 20 more stores to go before we hit 100. I still can't believe it. All right, I'm out of here.